Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Lego Brick Tales. Today, we are heading to our next world. Of course, last episode we went to the jungle, helped out people net there, but now we're going to the desert where we of course have a whole new area to explore, people to help, and happiness crystals to collect. So, let's get started. Going through the portal, here we go. Ooh, and here we are. Look, a bazaar. What kind of goods and specialties do you think they offer? Probably all sorts. Whoa, speaking of specialties, are you hungry? I can hear your stomach rumbling from over here. I don't think that's her stomach. Wait, that's not your stomach, is it? Earthquake! Oh no. Whole town has fallen apart. What a huge mess. Whew, I think it's over. We should see if anyone needs help. All right, so let's investigate the bazaar, sort of talk to people. Can I talk to the cats? Meow. <laughs> yes, I can. Meow. All right, is everybody okay? You doing all right? This is the painfully rich merchant. Hello, you look like someone who would know what's going on around here. Is everything all right? Why is your voice doing that? Excuse me? Your voice is shaking. Don't you see that? Pora, save me. First, the ground quakes beneath my feet, and now this flying machine says it sees my voice shake. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I must have been imagining things. Yes, yes, that will be fine. But just look at the bazaar. It looks like a hippopotamus was let loose in a pottery shop. What can I do? All the construction workers are too busy working at the construction site. We'd be happy to help you. What can we do? How generous of you to offer your help for free. You are so kind. I accept your offer. This is now a legally binding verbal contract. You have no right to compensation, benefits, or insurance. And don't even think about forming a union. Uh, okay? By the way, your voice looks like it's about to start shaking again. Ah, my voice, my beautiful voice. I need to go see my doctor. So I guess we have to help them see their doctor? The merchants of the bazaar need your help. Thanks again for volunteering. I guess so. So what about this merchant, the complicated merchant? Hello, can we be of any assistance? Oh yes, please, I'm simply beside myself. My boss is very strict about the arrangement of his wares, but the earthquake messed everything up and I can't figure out how to put it back all correctly. Please help me, all I have is this vague note he left me. It says, the cupcake must be kept farthest away from the gold. The miniature pyramid needs to be somewhere left of the gold. The smallest and largest ware must stand next to each other. The bottle must never be next to the cupcake. I can't make make stud or anti-studs of it. Please help. Don't even stress. We will we'll help you arrange the products right right away. So I guess we have to uh, arrange them based off what they said. So put the wares in the right order. Am I gonna have to write all that down? No, okay, it's on the screen right here. So this is neat. So the cupcake must be kept farthest away from the gold. So what that means is that either which way, the gold might be on the left or the right, but the cupcake is gonna be the farthest away from it. The miniature pyramid needs to be somewhere left of the gold, and that's where things get a little complicated, where I think we wanna get the gold to the right, so the pyramid can be on the left of it, and then this is the farthest away. I wonder if that, no, I don't think so. And then the smallest and the largest where must stand next to each other. So. The smallest is definitely the pyramid, and the bottle is definitely the largest, but the bottle must never be next to the cupcake, and that's where things get complicated. But keep in mind, it just says that the miniature pyramid has to be somewhere left of the gold, not immediately left. So if we put the bottle here, and this there, there we go, puzzle solved. Pretty cool. Oh my raw, you solved it. I remember now, that's exactly how it's supposed to look. The master will be so pleased. Maybe he'll make me employee of the month. I sure hope so. It was our pleasure. Mal Salah Salama. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, okay, so there's still a lot of people to talk to around here. How about you? Rich Merchant Security. You shall not pass without permission from my boss. So I don't have that permission yet. We'll have to come back later. Can I talk to you guys? Citizen. Hey, what's making such a racket? What's going on here? Oh, the earthquake was horrible. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Ugh. Can't a minifig just do some shopping without a natural disaster? I'm so inconvenienced. <laughs> All right, well, guess everybody's having a rough day because of it. Oh, I just knew I should have stayed in bed today. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if that's the most positive outlook, but maybe we can make them happy later. Plenty of citizens around though. The catnip merchant. 
Oh, you want to help me? That's very kind of you. My stall was completely destroyed. Could you please rebuild it for me? Sure, so the cabinet merchant, this is gonna be like a big cat tower? I think so, so there's the merchant, and I guess we could just build around them, that's so neat. So, yeah, how exactly do we wanna go about this one? I guess for right now, I probably want to just add what I can to the perimeter of it. Something like this might be good. Uh, just to add some kind of base around them first, and then we'll try to build up from there. So. We could do. Hmm. Actually, maybe I'll just leave that. We, don't, we really don't need that too much. What we'll do is build these up. Yep, just like that. that. Seems pretty good to me. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side if I have enough pieces. Actually, don't. So, hmm. I'll get this one here and then raise it. Oh no. There you go. And then move this one. And I should have one more piece left over. Oh no. There we go, so that raises it a little bit. And I guess I could even change it, hmm, is this how I wanna do it? Or do I wanna do it some other way? I'm sort of starting to visualize the different possibilities here. Like what if we did do something like this? But afterwards, in the back, we could put something else if we wanted to. Um, for right now, I'm just going to yeah, make a stall like that. We can turn it around a little. There we go, look at that, so it's like a little archway into their stall, I think that's cool. But how do we build the rest of it out though, is the question. For right now, I think it'd be nice to, I wish this would reach across, unfortunately it doesn't quite, hmm. Okay, I wish we also had more of a base plate at the bottom sometimes, I feel like that would help out a little bit. Hmm. But I do have these in the background, so maybe I could just raise these up a little bit, just like this. Oh no. Because so I think one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that was good. Now I can do the same thing over this way. Oh no. See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's very weird. Anyways, that's as many as I can give. So, yeah, from here, what can we do? We could add some of these, I think, because those are the same height. Ah, uh, but it still doesn't reach. Oh my goodness, because it doesn't matter too much. I mean, not the most structurally sound thing. But also, there are some things on the top right I didn't even realize. Uh, placed a board with jars in the in front of the merchant. Oh, so this thing, um, no. Uh, this thing, right there. So that's one of the goals. I might wanna put some extra stuff under them. I'm not quite sure that works though. Place the tip high above the merchant. What is the tip? Oh, I guess just maybe the tip of the the stall. It doesn't mean anything specific from it. Um, that's okay. So let's try to build inward a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Just so that I can keep building on top of it. Yeah, just have a nice structure like that. It's not quite high above the merchant quite yet, but we're getting there for sure. So if I were to, this to spin like that. There we go. Hold on, oh no. This one just needs to be lined up correctly. Where'd it go? No, no, no. Undo, grab this, put it there. Perfect, that looks pretty cool. And then with that, hmm. What if I did this? Would this be high enough above the merchant? I guess not. Can we put these on top? Yeah, you can't just sit them. Oh, this is the tip. All right then, I'm being silly. Now I understand. So we put the tip like that. It's high above the merchant. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we, we can mess around with some other stuff here if we wanted to. Um, Just doing something like that. Something like this. Just adding little bits and bobs to it to make it look cool. And I definitely like the look of it so far, so. Oh no. Got it. You know what, we might wanna leave it like that then, if we wanted to add maybe some extra stuff by uh, doing that. Ooh, that actually looks pretty cool. Cause how many of those do I have? I have a bunch of them, so I could. Ooh, I like this, I like this. Um, Hold on, put that one back where it was. 
and then do the same deal on this side. We're gonna make this whole little uh, hut look great. I could even add a few extra like this if I wanted to. Oh no, undo that, get it here. Does that look good? Actually, I think it looks great. I'm loving it. So, hmm, is there anything else I might wanna do here to add anything extra? Or should we leave it like that? I think we should leave it like that. I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with this. So maybe I'll add, hmm, I could just add a little flower pot to the side like that. There you go, just for a little bit of extra uh, pizzazz, we could add another one on the other side. But I don't think I wanna get too much more carried away. We'll leave it like that. I might rotate this one a little bit. There you go, just give a little bit of different personality there. And I think we're good. We're gonna finish that. Look at this amazing little hut that they have. So we can go up and talk to them again and buy some of their wares, the Catnip Merchant. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for helping me rebuild. Yeah, I'm happy that we we're actually able to contribute to that pretty well. Do you have anything else to say? Um, no. Okay, so now that we helped them, there's still other people around that we could assist, like this merchant. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What do I do now? I, I don't know, I guess. They, no, they're not gonna ask me for anything. Uh, these two haven't stopped arguing since the earthquake. Uh-oh. Can I help at all? Right now it doesn't look like it. I can't really get to a spot where I can actually talk to them, so we'll leave them be. Unless I can get over here. Yeah, I, I can't really get a piece of whatever action that's going on there. Can't talk to you either. So if there's nobody else around here, I might just go upstairs. Yeah, okay, so there's some steps up this way. Hopefully there's some more people we can actually assist here. Like, you have a camera. Whoa, the earthquake almost knocked me down. That could have been a disaster. Yeah, I guess so. When we do have some stuff to break over this way, I don't mind if I do, we'll get a treasure chest, our first one in this area. Open it up. And inside we have a bunch of popsicles. So I'm guessing that's going to be this area's currency. So I guess we could go inside this part of the building. And it brings us up here, whoa. We have more of these little like lever pieces. I still don't really know what they do, but I could collect the little bird. All right, we got a beautiful animal. Can't collect the cat, so. <laughs> There's plenty of those around, but you can't collect them. All right then, so let's go back through here. And I guess talk to you. Ugh, what a mess. See, not too many people actually doing too much around here. But I can break all this stuff, collect another bird. Cool. I could talk to some more cats, but they seem to have the, the same response every time. So I guess we're heading back down. I'm a little confused on what we actually do next. These little purple pieces keep popping up though, and they have to be something. Hmm. So we built that, and that went great, but there's gotta be somewhere we can get to now. Your help at the bazaar was invaluable. Well, not really, it was free, but thank you so much regardless. Now, as you said earlier, quote, what can we do to help? And I still require help. It seems that you are still obligated to the terms of our contract. I have commissioned a monument to be built for my most precious kitten, but I think the works are slacking off. The workers are slacking off. Please go to the construction site and make sure that everyone is still working. I can't wait to see my lovely kitty in monument form. I feel like a cat doing the excited butt wiggle before pouncing. You know, when their eyes are all like, ooh, that's how I feel. Oh, I'm just so excited. All right then, so investigate the construction site, which I'm guessing is down here. You shall not pass without permission from my boss. Oh, it's fine. Your boss is the one who sent us here. Can we pass, please? You shall not pass. <clears throat> if he really sent you here, he would have given you a permission slip. And I don't see a permission slip, so he didn't send you. Now be gone. Ugh, what an annoying guy. Well, I guess we have to go speak with the market overseer again. Darn fetch quests. <laughs> All right, so back to the overseer. What are you still doing here? I thought I told you to go check on my workers. Yeah, we ran into some person blocking the exit to the construction site. Said we need your, your written permission. Ugh, again? Is he still yelling, you shall not pass? I told him to quit doing that. It makes people nervous. Ugh, just hand him this and he will let you by. All right, so we get the exit permission. You are now allowed to enter the construction site, so we shall pass. 
All right then, so let's run back over there and talk to you one more time. There we go. Really, he just gave you permission just like that? Fine, show it to me. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. Do hereby grant permission. Good, wonderful, this looks just perfect. Thanks so much for bringing me this. I'm really just so glad you were able to get permission. Have a great time at the construction site. I'm sure I will. Okay, so let's go check it out. If you don't mind moving. I might talk to them one more time. Make, make a big monument for the boss is pretty kitty, big enough to see anywhere in the city. His kitten is so sweet and his kitten is so furry. We better get this monument finished up in a hurry. <laughs> All right, well, got a lyricist over here. Let's move to this construction site. There's so many cats around. And plenty of other things too, so there's lots to do here in the desert. Ooh, and some construction equipment too, that's gonna be fun. That's a huge pyramid. So yeah, let's get to work. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm part of the, the crew. Easy there, your boss just sent us to make sure everything is working fine. Fine? There was an earthquake, and the machines aren't working anymore. My workers are so confused that I that if I don't sit, stay with them, I think half would go home. We're here to help. What do you need? Oh, really? That's awesome. There's actually so is something you could help me with. There's a loony old professor at an excavation site up ahead. She may have an idea about what's going on here. If I'm honest, she caused me nothing but trouble. But could you go back on her, go check on her for me anyway? And be careful, some rocks might have been loosened up by that shaky, shaky, earthy, quakey. All right then. Huh, what? Oh yeah, work. Just a quick nap first. What are we gonna do now? It's game over, man, game over. It'll be okay. We can sing a couple of songs around the fire to lift our spirits. Believe it or not, my friend Jonesy went through something very similar and came out just fine. What are you talking about? Are you an alien or something? Woo, extra long lunch break. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Hey, where'd everybody go? Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of it. Are we getting paid for this? Do we have the rest of the day off? What caused that earthquake? Can we go back to work yet? If, if, I, if, if I sit still for too long, I, get, I start to get antsy. All right then, so yeah, let's take a look around this area and hopefully we can find a couple things. Is there anything, ooh, back here. More of these weird, they must be teleporters of some sort or something like that, you know? So hopefully we can figure that out eventually. But for right now, I'm just trying to look around this area, this desert, and see what kind of cool things we might be able to uncover as we're helping everybody. Because we can go into the back side of it. This is always my favorite, is when we go in the back side and find cool little secrets, like a little hermit crab. So we're going to run back over here. And I guess try to find some other ways around. We still have the Explorer outfit for now, but I think it's pretty fitting, of course. Okay, the little kitties are not gonna let me pass here, but uh, once we find a place for new outfits, I'll definitely equip those too. But uh, for right now, let's run back over here. Oh, and I definitely wanna break that stuff over to the right. It looks like this is the only way through. How are we going to cross that gap? This looks like it was an old stone bridge. Let's rebuild it. I definitely will, but first, boom, and boom, we get ourselves a chameleon, 18 more to go. So we have a lot to work with there, but it shows that you have to collect them throughout the entire game, not just one specific area. Build a beautiful pedestrian bridge. Sure. So here we are at the pedestrian bridge. There is so many pieces. We need to get the re test robot to the goal and nothing may break. So it's a pretty simple one when it comes to that. How do I want to start this? That's sort of my problem, is it feels like there's so much at first, but I think it would be a good idea to start with these. These are like some nice pillars that we can just build up like that, and that definitely makes a huge difference, I think. And then maybe I could do something like this here. Would that be a good idea? I'm not quite sure. Oh, but we can't get it in that box, so that would be a problem. Hmm. Could I just get this under? Hard to tell. Yeah, I wanted to sort of connect it under it, but I don't think that counts, unfortunately. So, I guess for right now, let's just build up a little bit. So if I could flip this over like that, I don't know if that's the best idea. Hmm. 
There's so many pieces, I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I should start this. I guess for right now, we'll do this. Because how many of these do I, I only have two of them? That is not many. But this does give me a decent starting point where maybe I could do something like that. The problem is I don't think the bridge is quite high enough yet, so. Hmm. Okay. I do have two of these. There you go. Just trying to build it up higher first. That's my main goal for the time being. Would that be enough to get this to fit together? It's a little bit to the side, so I'd probably want to do something like that. Is it perfect? Definitely not, but maybe this is just how we should start it. We can try to reconfigure some things later, but obviously this only does so much. There's not really a way across yet, so if I could Hmm, figure that out. Let's, oh no, oh no, wait, undo. And get this, right, almost there. No, what is happening? I just wanna get this thing like that, perfect. And then bring it over. That's a little bit better, right? So hard to make things work with this camera angle, but I'm trying my best. Hmm, what if I, there we go. My only concern right now is that obviously if we simulated this, oh, they can't even get down from that. So, going to go back. And that's fine actually, because I could just make a little step. Like I have these. Or I even have these ones. And that should really help with that step. And then, I guess the same thing over here. Obviously, if we try to make it go across now, it should. Oh wow, actually, that's plenty. I, I don't wanna be done yet, though. I wanted to build more to this, if I can. Um, seven pieces left over, what happened to one of them? Hmm, I'm not sure, but, uh, cause I would need eight, so. <laughs> I don't know what I messed up there. I guess I could just use these. It's not perfect by any means, but could I use something else? I don't think so, this is probably still my best bet. There we go. Yeah, so if I wanted to, I could also build little pieces on this side. I think that's actually too wide. Hmm. Okay. Because I know that, you know, like with some bridges, you'll see sort of extra stuff here. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know if that's gonna work. It doesn't matter too much. If this works, and maybe we should just leave it like this then. Let's not get it too overcomplicated. Yeah, I'll leave it like this. We'll simulate it one more time just to make sure they get across okay, and they do. There we go, nothing breaks, and the simulation is completed. Very cool. So I'm definitely happy about that one. Now it can cross, no problem. Talk to a little kitty. One of these kitties is gonna say something more than meow. I just know it. But for now, oh, we have like a cement mixer, and more stuff happening down there. I can't just jump down though. Remember work, safety, and everything. Uh, but there is some extra stuff over this way. I know we passed a ladder. Seems like there's just a lot to interact with. Ooh, okay. How about you? I need to, uh, I read on the internet that the pyramid is actually an alien mind control tower. And ladybugs are actually micro drones that spy on us. I need you to help me collect 20 ladybugs so I can save the world. Oh, you already found some? Please bring me more. So I found some of them already, but there's more to find. Don't know if I really understand their theories too much, though. So. Can't always believe everything you read, after all. Let's move over here. And ooh, there's more stuff to find. Okay, this is great. Like a little oasis, I like it. So we'll collect that chameleon. So there's still 17 more to find out there in the world, but for right now, that's enough. Uh, let's head back over. And I guess go into here. Yeah, yeah, so this is where we were before, but there might be a little bit more to the side. I keep seeing different colors, the purple. That has to be something. It really just sort of stands out in a way that makes it seem like there's going to be more with those kind of things. But I guess it really isn't too much more for us to do for right now, so we'll just take this ladder downwards and try to figure things out. Hi there, excited conservator. Oh, hello, welcome to the catacombs. I'm the conservator. I assume you've come for the guided tour? Ever since those construction ruffians started their work, I've hardly had any visitors. Aw, 
what have you been doing down here all this time? Researching, of course, and conservator thing. <laughs> it's my job to fix up this crumbling tomb before it is lost to time. Most recently, uh, I've become stumped by what appears to be the entrance of the old pyramid. I can't hope to restore it if I can't get inside. I managed to decipher some inscriptions and they say that this tomb is from the early dynasty and that three hieroglyphs are required to open the door. But you don't know how they look or where to find them. Correct, we investigated almost everything near the tomb, found nothing matching the description. There was one strange find, however. It was discovered in the cave behind me. It was some sort of plinth? I've been conservationing for years, and I've never seen anything like it. A plinth, you say? How interesting. Well, take a look if you like. If we're lucky, you'll find those hieroglyphs while you're at it. Okay, very cool, so I could go over that way. I'll explore that cave for sure, but I do wanna get a better understanding of our current surroundings. Please investigate the cave. Maybe the three hieroglyphs we need for the tomb door mechanism can be retrieved there. I definitely will. So this is the tomb door. Is there anything else I can do out here? I want to interact with this, you know, big sort of drill or a digger or something. I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks cool, right? So hopefully we can actually ride that around later. For right now though, let's go in to this catacomb. Whoa. Oh, I lost my power to transform for a stop. Interesting, something in this room interfered with my ability to use my newly learned skills freely. Oh, so I can't stop in here. But I can sense a strong energy signature from this column. We should try to use it. Sure. So open the door to the pyramid, into the pyramid. Let's see what this is. So will this be another new technology? Before we learn the stomp, now we're learning something else for Rusty. Whoa, what is that? Uh oh, everything's shaking again. Maybe this was the earthquake. Wow, where did all those these walls come from? Interesting. It seems like they, they were hidden in another dimension. And I've gained the ability to materialize them. Ah, the wonders of multi-dimensional space. I think we have to find our way out now. Let's look around and see what else is there. Cool, so this is definitely interesting. Okay, so it can hold shift, whoa, to reveal hidden objects and our skeleton. Oh my goodness. So I can't quite interact with it, but there is something here. Huh. Well, yeah, materialize it, whoa. So what is this going, go, yeah, what do I do with this? I could just change the walls. All right, so that's good. Could I undo it too? Yes, I could. For right now, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going, so I'll have to get a good look at the land, but for right now, there's clearly something here, right? So how do I materialize it? Just by pressing space again, and we get a hieroglyph jackal. The jackal represents good fortune and rebirth. Very cool. So whenever we see any kind of like this, this green eye, we can press shift, reveal it, and then materialize it. And this is going to be a scarab? The hieroglyph scarab, the paint is cracked, but the characteristic shape of the scarab beetle is clearly visible. That's cool. What about down this way then? We have another one waiting for us. It is another little lever. Let's see how this one works then. We'll just, it'll move some more walls. So now we can see what's going on in the corner here. I can't slam this though. So I might have to come back or something. Cause that looks like it's slammable, but I can't use the slam move right now. So. We'll leave that be, and I wanna go into this next room to the left. How would I do that? Would this, okay, no matter what, that's not really changing too much, but it's moving another wall down there, so what I could maybe do is interact with this one. Okay. That's not really doing too much to help me at the time being, but you know what, it gives me space to go to the room up here where there's maybe more I can do. There is another lever to interact with, so let's try this one. Materialize it, and then interact with it. Let's see what this opens up. Okay. Well, actually, hmm, sure. We'll do that for now. Go back down here. Certainly tricky so far. 
See, it's not really getting me any, anywhere more, though. I wanna try, like, I don't, I don't know what other rooms I'm trying to get to. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, do that again. I could try that, go back down here, and it looks like there's one extra thing I can maybe interact with. But I would, yeah, my struggle is how do I get down there? I don't know. <laughs> this is so tricky. Oh, so this one is moving this up here. Okay, so now I should be able to get it this way, reveal this thing, it's some kind of lever. As you can see, should be able to materialize it and pull it down. And that opens a door back there, which will make things, it doesn't seem like it adds much, right? But that will actually change things up quite a lot. So what I can do now, a lot of this is closed off, but I can go back over here, interact with this thing, and revert some of it so that I can actually get over there. Okay, perfect. So where was that exactly? I think it was yeah, right over here. So now I can go down and over much easier. And I should just be able to enter this thing and get another hieroglyph, hieroglyph to materialize. This is going to be our third one. And it is the Hieroglyph Falcon. Symbolizes the divine kingship of the Pharaoh. We found all the hieroglyphs. I suppose we should give the conservator the good news. There's a conservator, I don't know, that, I don't know. That doesn't sound like the proper way of pronouncing it, but it might be, because you know, like conservatory, con conservation, it feels a little bit clashing. Anyways, how do I get out of here? Now that I found all those, oh, this is where I'd be able to change my abilities if I could, but I can't. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to leave. Oh, okay, I can switch back to my old skill here. Maybe that would solve something, because I didn't really know where to go, but that's gonna open up a ton of things for me. Okay, I understand. Now I can open up that, go over here, and start breaking these open. So I was really, really confused there, but I think we're starting to figure it out. So no worries, just gotta break those two open back that way, which hopefully won't be too bad once I get over like this. All right, so interact, roll, Actually, yeah, this one doesn't do too much for me, so I guess I could keep that one there. Go over here and break this one. And then we just have one more to go, and hopefully that opens the door, because if not, I have no clue how to get out of here, but it looks like it will. I just go over this way, slam this thing, and boom, there is the door open with all the different colored, colored flames. Very cool, perfect, now I can go outside. Gotcha. So, let's interact with this really quickly. We get a treasure chest, which I'm sure is full of popsicles. You bet, it has 50 popsicles. Very nice. So let's head out of here and open the door to the pyramid. Now that we have all those hieroglyphs, I don't think it'll be a problem. Excellent, you located the hieroglyph tiles. Now insert them into the obelisk next to me. Oh, right here. I think this is the spot the conservator uh, told us to place the hieroglyphs. Let's place the hieroglyphs we found onto the obelisk. Okay, is there a specific order we need them in? I guess not. We placed all of them. And that'll open the door. Hooray, and all the cats are running away. Might be a bad sign. Excellent, you placed all the hieroglyph tiles and the door to the tomb is now is open now. In ancient times, these animals were associated with different mythical stories. The scarab rolled the sun across the sky, the jackal guarded the scales of the afterlife, and the falcon was blessed with an all-seeing eye. Anyway, explore the tomb and tell me of your findings later. Wait, you're not coming with us? Oh, darn, I really wish I could, but I just remember that I need to wait here. You know, I, in case guests show up. It has nothing to do with creepy creatures or deadly traps. Okay, you, you have fun, bye. Explore the tomb and let me know what you find. All right then, so I guess we're going in without the conservator. Let's see what we find. Uh, I can't get up there, but ooh, okay wait. Can we switch? We can switch here, so that's awesome. We can do things like that and then pull this down, right? There we go. Whoa, all the sand is sinking. Wow, okay, so there's a lot more to this area than you would have originally thought, right? Aha, that got rid of the sand. How do we lower all this? Oh, can I collect the bunny? Maybe, yeah, here we go. We got a rabbit, 
Very cool, very cool. Glad to have that. And it looks like there might be even a little more to interact with. Ooh, a treasure chest. Let's materialize it. Collect what might be inside. More popsicles. Crazy that these things don't melt, but you know, I'm not complaining. So let's spiral down the, the staircase here and see what kind of crazy things we might find. I think yeah, there's another lever right here. I need to materialize it. And then pull it. Whoa, and that's gonna lower the treasure chest up there. So that's definitely worth going out of our way to get. So I'll run all the way back up. Or, you know, we're getting a little like workout here, a little bit of cardio. I don't mind. We'll open this one up, no problem. So yeah, let's see what's inside. Ooh, so we get 50 more popsicles. That's actually, we have a ton right now. So if we do run into any extra costumes and stuff um, from the boo guy, that'll be cool. Can we go inside here? I can't quite fit, unfortunately. Um, can I go in this way? Ooh, okay, more of this stuff. As you can see, that doesn't do anything, but I can switch here, do a big slam, and get through a little bit more. So, what do we got inside of this thing? It is going to be, big surprise, more popsicles. So, back this way now, or is there more over here? Nothing I can reach, okay. So I think, at this point, all we really can do is go into this one. So we can travel west, and what can we find around here? First off, another one of these things. I mean, it looks like we still have three more abilities to discover, so it's definitely gonna take us time, but ooh, to get across this spike pit, we need to build a safe passage. So, get the test robot to the goal and nothing may break as per usual. Is that going to be some kind of flame emitter? What is that thing in the center? I don't know. But I guess for right now what I could do is, hold on, build one of those and one of those. That's a good start. I guess I will just go straight across for now. And then I could even, it's still something like that I think wouldn't be too bad. Like if I were to simulate that, the, the not kinetic energy, but the friction between those two plates would keep them sturdy like that. So yeah, I'm learning a little bit more about building through all this, which is pretty cool. So I could do a bit like that, but then I can start building a staircase upwards. And would that be enough to get over this thing? Unfortunately, no. So what we could do is just add an extra couple of these bricks. Nothing too crazy, just enough for me to maybe get over. Yep, just like that. And would that be enough? You'd think so. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're across now, which is great, but if we wanted to maybe add some extra things, you need know, a little bit of extra flair here and there, I wouldn't mind. Just, you know, make it a little cooler. So yeah, something like that. I wish that these staircase blocks were a little bit more workable. Does that work? No, it doesn't, okay. I don't know if I wanna to go too crazy here then. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep that how it is. It gets us across, no problem. And yeah, let's finish. So, we got through that, no problem. As you can see. And now, I can slam this pot for whatever reason. and nothing over that way. So, oh, this is where we can use the lasso, right? Not quite here, but hopefully soon. I don't know the lasso isn't sort of popping up for us, but there's this big sand pit that I can't even walk on. So I guess there really is only one way to go and that's up the, the staircase, but we do have this thing. Whoa, it's a skeleton. The, what did that say? The Tomb Guardian Master. Hot intruder, you dare trespass in the queen's sacred resting place. Wait. We're just trying to figure out what's causing all the trouble outside. Please let us pass. Well, the sacred texts allow for visits to the queen from family and friends within reasonable hours. My guardian shall test your knowledge of the queen. If you prove worthy, worthy to be her friend, you may pass into visiting chamber, her visiting chamber. And pardon the sacrilege, but your clothing and accessories are simply divine. <laughs> Thanks. I guess fashion comes a long way in 3,000 years. Whoa. 
Interesting, so we have to complete the Guardian Trials. Good luck with our tests. Only the finest may befriend our queen. It looks like there's another pot to break over. I don't know if this will accomplish anything, except for getting me in trouble, you know, for breaking their stuff, but it looks like not even, so we're good. Uh, there's another one to break over here, though. And then I can go into this corner and grab a little ladybug. Don't mind if I do 17 more to find in this wild world. But I did see you know, one of these to interact with. Behold, the test of responsibility. Our queen respects her people's traditions and the monuments of her ancestors. Their brick maids and their abelisks. Abelisks. It's supposed to be obelisk, but with Lego put in there. <laughs> you must construct a model of one of their ancient resting places. Great, more responsibility. Responsibility has its place. You should respect these places. My people hold them sacred. Okay, okay, we'll rebuild your model. Okay, so we can rebuild the model right here, but there is a little tutorial. Learn to cover surfaces. Oh, I would actually really like this help. Sometimes a construction requires us to cover a surface with bricks. See the dotted area? These, the semicircles pointing up means that we have to cover it from the top. Okay, so you mean like this, right? See these semicircles pointing down? Uh, here the semicircles are pointing down, which means we have to cover it with bricks from underneath. Okay, like this? It feels exactly the same, but uh, I think I sort of understand. Okay. Build a perfect pyramid. So with this one, as against the limitations are a lot stronger. So for right now, let's work with something like this. Is that my only piece of this? Yeah, it's only my only piece of that one. So let's not go too crazy with that at first. It's only one of each piece. So making everything fit together perfect might be a bit of a challenge. Well, not one of each piece, but most pieces. Does that work? Yeah, I think so. Um. Yeah, this might be a bit tricky. We'll figure it out, but I don't think that goes there. Might go here though? Hmm, I don't think so. What about this one? That's a little too long. So it's just about, I guess, just trying to find out where everything fits. This really might take me a while then because there's a lot. Uh, Cause I could put that there, but there's not enough there. So I think there might be a better way to do this one. We'll start with the bigger pieces, I feel like is the better way to go. Hmm. But then there are smaller pieces like this. That doesn't quite fit though. What could we do with this one? I could use this. There you go. Um. Don't want that one there, but I could get that one. Not really. Okay, so, oh, I see. This one definitely does not go here. Um. Good to know though, we're sort of starting to figure some things out. Even if it doesn't feel like it, we're getting somewhere. Cause this would, would go there, but it doesn't really fit. See, it's sort of trying to differentiate the end pieces. Cause this one has to be on the bottom layer. Cause it's just too big to be anywhere else. Hmm. This one would have to be in this corner specifically, I guess. I mean, it could be in this corner too. We don't really have an inverted version of that, do we? Well, we have that, and so far that's not so bad. What if I did this? Would that be long enough? Unfortunately, no. This is so tricky so far. Uh, cause I can do something like that. I can't use that one. I only have one more of these, so I don't think it's that piece. Yeah, that can't be that one. But what it could be is that maybe I'm just not lining this up in the right spots. There's so many other ways to do this. So trying to find the right one is going to be really challenging. But I think once we get the bottom layer done in a way that makes sense, that's sort of the hard part out of the way. Ah, almost, okay. It's so not that one. Maybe not too many other options. Um, There really isn't too many other options. What if I did that here? I might be stuck on this one for a little while. It sure feels like it. I could do that though, okay. 
And then, where was it? Ah, if this was inverted. But even then, I don't think it would really work too well. This is so tricky. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I'm like missing pieces or something. That's definitely not the case. Oh, I think I actually got somewhere. So I have this long piece right here. I have this little, same similar piece, but a little shorter, three studs wide. Then this one corner piece, there's three studs by two, and then this really long corner piece. And then all I would need is right there. Okay, so there's that one done. That's actually really, really good. Now we can put this here. Ooh, maybe not. Um, there's still plenty to figure out here for sure, but maybe I could put, not that there, but this one? Aha, okay, now we're getting somewhere because then I could put this here. And then I just need one more little corner, perhaps? Which unfortunately, I don't have. Because that one, it really, yeah, that doesn't quite work. Okay, um. What if I just moved it over, tried to find a similar but different piece, like that? Oh, okay, okay, and then put this one here, rotate this piece, put it there, and then put this there. We did it, hooray! Oh my goodness, that was a challenge, wasn't it? Um, but we got it done, and now what? Uh, do I talk to you again? Perhaps? You have proven your skill. Ah, what a perfect replica. You've even included the traditional ancient guest room, ancient sauna, and ancient bowling alley. Perfect. Huh. Who knew learning about ancient pyramids could be so interesting? I guess so. Was I back here? I think I was. Yep, I was. I found the ladybug back there. So that's everything on that side. So let's run over to the other half and maybe there'll be more to discover. Definitely looks like it. In the meantime though, let's bust open this pot and see what might be hiding behind it. It looks like another chameleon. 16 more to go. Okay, so back to this. And yeah, we'll just interact with the Tomb Guardian again. Behold, the test of feline appreciation. Our queen has always loved cats, as did her ancestors. They're still pretty popular, to be honest. Then you will have no trouble with this challenge. The queen's pet cat is her dearest companion, but these hard stone walls are not exactly cat approved. A, a, a construct a device that will make this a more cat friendly environment. Okay, so let's build. Build a pompous cat tree. Ooh, this sounds like it could be fun. But there is a lot to do here. We need to place a test cat, place at least two round platforms on distinct heights, and place a basket. Nothing may break, and we also have to wait some time. So, as you can see, there are some required pieces for all of that. How do we want to start? I'm thinking, usually how they do these. So, you know, I've, I've owned a cat tower before. We have plenty of cats here at home. I could do something like that. I don't know if that would... Hmm. We'd have to wait and see. Like if I were to simulate this, the cat were to jump on it. Oh, that's right, hold on. Not how that works. What if I were to do this? Yeah, the, the test cat seems to like it quite a lot, so that's cool. Um, There's a lot more I'd like to do with that. Cause they usually have like a little box, uh, but it'd be hard to fit it with my current plan. So I might, hmm. How would we get them in there? I guess like this. Aha, okay. I don't have enough pieces for everything I had in mind here, but I might be able to do something. Just a little something like that. I just wanted to make them a little opening. The problem is not too much more I can do with it. I could just add that on top and then add another archway on this side. They wouldn't be able to really get into it too much, but there you go. Uh, and then get this one over here. <laughs> it's not perfect, that's for sure, but it, it's something. Just like a cute little box for them to hang out on. I think that's cool. And then maybe we could just do that. And then typically they have little towers like this, where you could put another one. So with this one basket here, what else do I need? I need a third basket to be somewhere, and I'm guessing about here would be good. You know what might make this look nice too is if I alternate the little pillars. There we go. 
That way there's a little, a little spot down there, a little spot up here. There's a lot of different spots to hang out. We make this one super tall for the one cat that likes to be way up there. Maybe that's a little too tall. Don't want them getting hurt after all. But uh, yeah, something like that might be good. Uh, so now we have to place the test cat on one of them. Of course, the tallest one. And let's see if that works. Simulate. So we're just waiting some time to make sure nothing falls or breaks. And I think we're good. So there we go, there's our very fancy cat tower. And that is another one of the challenges done. So very, very cool stuff there. Nothing else to do in this corner, so I will go and talk to uh, you again. You have proven your skill. Ah, what an ingenious structure. A lofty bow, a scratchy trunk, and beds all over. Oh, you will love this. I sure hope so. Did we go down this way? We did, okay, so we're good to just head up this way and see what's going on. Hopefully some cool stuff, we'll have to wait and see. It looks like at least there's a bird to catch. There we go, yet another bird. And you to talk to, another tomb guardian. Behold, the test of the chic interior decor. I'm sorry, what? To be honest, the other two guardians take their tests very seriously. I'm sure they'll do a great job. But I am so bored of the same sandstone walls, not a pop of color. I never wanted to guard a tomb of for millennia. I wanted to be an interior designer. This place hurt my soul. Please, I just need one furnishing that sparks joy. Sure thing, I'd love to help. Build a nicely arranged shadow box for the guardian. So, whoa. What exactly is a shadow box? I'm not quite sure, but uh, with all of the shelf elements combined. So I guess it's supposed to be like a little collection of gizmos and stuff. I thought we could actually do something really cool here. Um, if we were to maybe just do that and then, ooh, actually I have some ideas. I have some ideas I could actually work here that make it look cool. Uh, we might wanna zoom in a little bit, just like that. Um, yeah, just add a little pops of color here and there like that might be fun. Um, and what I could do, flip this over. There we go, and then, can I duplicate that there? I could do the same thing on this side. Oh no, where did that go? No, hold on, there you go. Just to add like this cool little alternating color pattern, and then do the same thing right over here. Got it, okay, that looks fun. Now, we could uh, add some other things just waiting for us, like there's this one, but this one's, ooh, hmm. Okay, I'll put it maybe around here. We could also try to flatten this out a little bit. I might wanna use this instead. Got it, there you go. Still can't put that there, but that's fine. We could find something else for it, I'm sure. Nothing here's exactly spaced out how I wanted it, so I could fit this in. Obviously, it's not like perfectly symmetrical or anything crazy like that, but I still think it looks overall pretty fun just to have like these different spruces of like color and pattern and stuff. Then I could put that like here, and that fits pretty well. Cause I feel like, you know, having it be functional, but fit is is good. This thing gets up there really tall though. So maybe what we could do, put this one about there. That can't quite fit in. But this would, if we wanted to do maybe red here. Let's remove that for now. Yeah, do something like that. Actually, maybe I should put the yellow here then instead. Yellow here, um, maybe something like this? Huh, I'm a little undecided on how I might wanna do some of these things, but it's okay. It doesn't need to be like the most perfect thing ever either, you know, just something that looks cool is all I'm trying for. There you go. Definitely add some kind of different colors to it. Uh, and that's almost, actually, yeah, it's a perfect amount that I could just have like a little gap there to make it look neat. But why is this, oh no, I see, I see, that's fine. I guess that's one taller than this one. How could I maybe change that? I could just, for right now, yeah, do something like this. There you go, that looks cool. And then put this back up there and then it fits together super nicely, where we can put the thing here at the top. Well, sort of. Actually, maybe it'd be better 
I don't know how much taller this can go though. It's the one thing. Would this be too tall up? It is not, okay. It's a little lopsided in some spots, but you know what, if it looks cool, I'll do it. There you go. I think that was the last trial. Let's go back to the head guardian. Well, first I wanna to talk to you a little bit. You have proven your skill in interior design. Such tasteful knickknacks, elegantly arranged. And the shelves themselves, oh, what sharp lines, bravo. Doesn't everything have sharp lines? <laughs> it's, it's all Lego after all. Um, so yeah, let's head back down there. And I guess we can, at the least, you know, see what kind of reward we've gotten for completing our trial. So, hey, you are the one I needed to talk to again. Welcome, friend of the queen. You have passed our trials and may now step inside. Ready yourself to meet our queen, Cleocatra, and her beloved kitty. Ooh, so we can go see Cleocatra. Very cool. Do not keep the queen waiting. I will not. Let's go speak with the mummy queen. Ooh, so there's even more happening in here. I don't know if we'll be able to explore all of it straight away, but I'll definitely do what I can for now. All these artifacts and many other things. Oh, and is this you? What's all this racket? How many times that I, at times have I told you what happens if I don't get my beauty sleep? Actually, for a thousand year old mommy, I would say you look incredible, your preservedness. I like you, small metal box person. Very well, I accept you as an honorary retainers of the mighty god queen Cleo Catra. Actually, your mightiness, we're here because of the earthquake and other weirdness. The people out there are feeling odd, worshipful, more overwhelmed with terror. Do you know why that would be? Ha, the earth shook because it was my will. This pyramid may seem noise-proof, but something out there was causing the loudest racket I had ever heard in my afterlife. So obviously, the only choice I had was to curse everything making noise. My hands were tied. Your furiousness, that sounds like a huge overreaction. Have you ever awoken from a thousand year slumber? I'm like a ferocious lioness before I've had my morning coffee. Ugh. But I suppose I won't get a wink of sleep for centuries now anyway, and maybe I did overreact. Fine. I will set everything right. If you can find my most beloved companion, my most snuggly wuzzly cutest little kitty, her name is Mew, and she is small and white and furry, and has a wet little nosy wozy. I uh can see you really love that cat. Is that odd? Do you have a dozen, do, do you not have a dozen feline treasures? Don't tell me you don't brush their beautiful fur each and every day. Uh, of course, we'll be back before you know it. Cats! <laughs> Actually, where have you seen her last? I can't remember, it's been so long, but I do remember she loves catnip more than any other cat. Hmm, catnip. Isn't there a merchant at the bazaar that sells catnip? <clears throat> I almost forgot. I will open this passage for you so you can reach the surface faster. Oh, that'd be great. So yeah, there is a merchant at the bazaar that will sell us catnip. So hopefully we can go and get some of that so that we can make Cleocatra happy. Stop causing these earthquakes, because I think we got a rabbit. But also, they're, they're hearing all the construction noises that the one person was making. So that's some interesting things to keep in mind. Uh, there we go, we also get a hermit crab. We're getting all sorts of little creatures, which is great. So obviously I will make my way back over to where we came, but I'm just trying to explore a little bit. Not where we came, but where we're going. See, like, what is this about? Oh, is this the shop? This is Boo Shop? Yes, it is, perfect. Talk to the people at the bazaar, of course, is what I'm still trying to focus on, but let's talk to Boo really quickly. Are you interested in my wares? They can be yours for some popsicles. So yeah, we have 130 popsicles, and we can buy the Egyptian Shandit, I think. Um, so we'll, we'll buy this stuff and equip it in a moment. The mummy bandages, and the uh, Egyptian Nemez, or Nemez and then the Egyptian tunic, and the mummy headdress. So we'll equip one piece of this costume right now, as much as I can manage. We go to the wardrobe, um, and we equip that right there. We'll get a where, where, and where. We can try to change it up a little bit later as we explore around other things, I'm sure, but right now I feel like this is pretty cool. Actually, let's see, yeah, that's sort of, yeah, hmm. Oh, and they also have little different descriptions. I don't know if I read these. Uh, Egyptian Shandit, adorn your legs in luxurious linen. 
uh, a mummy secondhand bandages. They're a bit crusty. Uh, the Egyptian tunic. Why doesn't anybody wear tunics anymore? Somebody should bring that trend back. And then we had the Nemesis. Uh, keep the hot sun off your head. And the headdress. A mummy secondhand headdress. It's a bit dusty. So we're looking pretty cool right now, I think. Um, but I wanted to have this one equipped because this seems to be like a coherent costume. Um, so I'll we'll wear that one. I like how we can zoom in, get some cool pictures or something like that. Uh, but let's continue. And we also have enough to buy some other things. So like some brick yellow, sure. Uh, you've got brick yellow now in your color palette. So there's just different color palette colors. We have the bright yellowish green, uh, the dark red. We can't afford that now. Okay, so that's all I could afford for the time being. There's even desert bricks for 100 popsicles. I'll have to go collect some more throughout our adventure, but for right now, that is definitely good. We got all the costumes, so can't do too much around here. For now, let's go and talk to the catnip salesperson back at the bazaar, which is right up here. So I will break this open just in case I need to. Didn't look like that did much. Okay, so let's leave. Ooh. So yeah, now I roughly know where we are. I think we just need to head back up here and right through this way. Perfect. Yeah, we're doing good so far. And where were they? They were back here in the corner. Yeah, I was really proud of the little thing I built. Uh, catnip, free, uh, fresh catnip, the best in the whole world. Oh, hey, it's you guys. How are you? My catnip has been selling like crazy thanks to you two. That's great news. But we are actually searching for something small, white, furry, with a wet nose. Oh no, a poor little kitten has gotten lost. What can I do? How can I help? I bet if we open the gates to my catnip storage area, we could attract every cat in a thousand cubits. Hmm, people might pass out from cuteness overload. Could this be dangerous? If it helps convince you, the cat we are looking for belongs to the Pharaoh Queen buried in the pyramid. So the only way to get rid of this curse is to follow her demands and help her find her lost cat. Oh no, why didn't you say something sooner? Here, take the key to my catnip storage area. I hope this helps you. Thank you, and if anyone else comes looking for their cat, we'll send them to you to buy their catnip. Awesome, so we get the storage key. You are now able to enter the catnip storage area. Check out the catnip merchant's storage area. I don't know where that is. Uh, well, have you had any luck finding the lost one? I've just been so worried about the poor thing. So where is the catnip storage area? Uh, I don't think it's something we have found so far, so let's just try to, try to take a look around and hopefully I can discover it, but this might be it. It's a big door with a lock on it, so that worked. We're heading in. Whoa, look at all these cats. Okay, yeah, this is definitely what we're looking for. So, talk to all of you. You're all gonna meow. But as you can see, what I really need to do here is switch to this and find this little kitty right here. This is Mew. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. All right, aw, there's, there's the sweet little thing. It looks just like the Pharaoh explained. Let's reunite these two. So I'll take you, we get Mew. Hurry, bring the cat queen, or the cat to the queen before it's meowing drives you mad. Okay, I don't think there's too much more I can interact with around here, but that's still very, very cool. See, so we're headed back to the pyramid for now, I guess. Okay, so we finally made it back. We'll go through our shortcut right over here. And Cleocatra, I got your cat for you. Here I come. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. It's so gonna march all the way down the steps and right across to the side. So she was right over here. I gotta use this again. There you go. Oh, Mew, you've returned. As for the both of you, I'm forever in your debt for this incredible task. It wasn't too hard once we figured out where to look. Oh, you are too modest. You must be handsomely rewarded. I will bestow upon you a great delicacy, a fresh, juicy watermelon. Oh, it seems I only have centuries old, non-fresh, non-juicy watermelons. In that case, you will have to name your own reward. What if you fix all the chaos that you caused outside? Just a thought. No, I've decided I won't do it. I was so suddenly awakened by all the noise and be bad behavior, can't be rewarded. Would it change your mind if you learned that all the noise is caused because we're making a giant cat monument? Truly, a cat monument, you say? Well, they would build it if their machines weren't broken by the curse. Hmm, 
If that really is true, I suppose I can consider maybe eventually removing the curse. But first, you must prove your affection and devotion to me by re repairing the mosaic which lies before the pyramid. Oh, is that all? Great, we'll have that finished in two clicks of a scarab's wings. Okay, so right here, repair the big four mosaic. Oh, no, no, okay, this is just me. No. You are so cute. I'm glad I got you back. Wow. <laughs> all right then, very cool. So we have to go all the way back to the front of the pyramid and rebuild some kind of mosaic. So we're back out here in the front and I guess this is where we repair the big four mosaic. So let's take a look. The mosaic, it's missing some pieces. We've got to find them. My son just told me that they must be somewhere around here. All right then, so where could they be? Somewhere around here. So let's just take a quick look around and see what we might be able to discover. Is it something like this? Or maybe I just have to interact with it? I don't quite know. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's actually go like that. We need to find the missing piece, tile pieces. They must be somewhere nearby. Okay, no. Huh. I was already in here. This is the one catacomb. I don't think it would be anything extra in a place like this. Oh, I think I found one of them. Yeah, right here. So we got a tile of the mosaic. It's showing Queen Cleocatra's head with a quite remarkable nose. All right then, we were already uh, looking over here before. So I need to find another tile piece just like that one. I guess just leaning against a wall or something like that. Maybe it'll be back here. So I really don't know where else it could possibly be, but it's not back this way. Oh, there it is, I see it. So we'll go and grab that one real quickly and we can get to building this mosaic. Or was it right here? So, collect this one, a tile of the mosaic, a beautiful stone representation of Mew's handsome head. My analysis shows that, that this is the final piece required for the mosaic. Let's return to the build spot. Okay, so that should be right down here. I'll just climb down the ladder and interact with this thing. Restore the magnificent four mosaic showing the queen and Mew. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one's going to be a bit of a puzzle though. Oh, I see. All right then, so this one will definitely be interesting. Uh, there's a lot to figure out here, but if this is Muset Mosaic, it's gonna be a puzzle that needs to sort of come together one way or another. But it looks like that's her head here, right? So, and like her hand coming out. So maybe there's something to be done with that. This looks like, what if I flipped it? Hmm. I think it's something like that, but not quite. Oh, I see. Uh, maybe. I'm trying to figure out how this fits together. It must be like this, it must be like this. Uh, maybe a little bit more separated, but maybe not. There you go. Okay, so there is that done. And I might need to you know, move some stuff around to really make sure it all fits, but so far we're getting somewhere already. Uh, that's good to know. I can't move this one piece. So that just stays there. That's sort of good to know though. That means that we're figuring something out. I think about there, ooh, okay. Wait a minute, almost. Uh, yeah, I can't move this piece at all? I guess not. How exactly does this fit together? Because this can't go any more up, apparently. That's where things get weird. Hold on just a moment. I really can't move that, okay. That goes there for sure, so. There's still some things I'm figuring out here. That goes there. Okay, that goes here. Yeah, let's use what's already there then to try to piece some things together because that means that, of course, her head goes about here. And where was it? This was not what I'm looking for. There was like more pieces of the body. I don't know if anything's going to have to be rotated, but so far it doesn't seem like it. Whoa, just one more up. Right, why is it? Oh, because that needs, okay, I got it, I got it. This is so tricky, but we're getting closer. Cause then I can put this here. Ooh, we're getting somewhere. All right, I'll leave this to the side for now cause I don't really know what that is. But this goes here. Oh, that's a bit odd. See, some things aren't entirely matching up. Here, let's, this definitely goes there. I can put that there. This here, oh, hold on. Hold on, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. And boom, right there. That's it, right? 
It looks like so she was sitting on a chair. That's why I was getting a little confused. I thought she was like leaning down on a knee. There we go, we can report back to the queen. But look at that amazing mosaic. That looks so cool, so I'm glad we got that done. Um, and it might be faster actually to go up the other way, so I'll do that really quickly. We're just going to jump up here and go across to this side. All right, enter in through here and go talk to the queen, but this has been such a fun little adventure. This level's been a lot longer than the previous one, but at least we're getting through the main story. It looks like we're at 80% completion of this story. There still might be a little bit more, but for right now, let's just talk to Cleocatra. Hi, well, what of the mosaic? Has it been restored? Of course, your dryness. We hope it exceeds your expectations. Will you now lift the curse? Yes, if it, I will, as promised, the curse will be lifted. Now! Amazing! What? Wait, that's all? I was expecting something with a bit more flair. You made a good first impression, little metal person, but I grow tired of your chatter. You're banished for a thousand years. But thanks so much for the help. Bye now. Bye bye. Ow. I wish you a nice afterlife, your dryness. Okay then, so return to the construction site. I will in a moment, I just wanted to chat with you one more time. Um, thank you. Okay. So back to the construction site for us. It's been quite the wonderful adventure here throughout the desert. Very, very cool to see all this kind of stuff and just, you know, have some buildings to make here. It's been fun. Uh, but let's go through here. And we're at the construction site, so I guess we'll just talk to the construction workers and see what they have to say. Uh, hi there. Yes, it feels so good to get back to work. Thank you guys for handling this. Well, it would be if we could actually get back to work. The road is broken, so our construction vehicle is stuck at the excavation site. You don't happen to know anyone with crazy good building skills, do you? As a matter of fact, we do. We are a pair of incre- Yeah, yeah, that's great. Could you build a road for our construction vehicle so we can get back to work? That'd be great, thanks. All right then, so we need to help the construction workers by constructing things for them to work on. <laughs> All right, um, let's get back over here then and try to put this bridge together for them. You'd think that they'd be fine without being construction workers, but you know, we'll, we'll take over. So build a ramp to the construction vehicle. Hmm. So one thing that's you know tricky about this one, as you can see, is that it is taller on one side than it is the other. So we need them to sort of be lifted over. Oh no, it's not what I wanted, I wanted this. And then maybe just something like that. Because what I could perhaps do, yeah, it's just something like this. Trying to keep them at the same level though throughout the whole thing might be a little challenging, but I can do that. And then with each one, we want it to raise a little. Maybe even want to do this one. That should be over like that, yeah, okay. Got it. Hmm. And then same deal over this way, but this one should be a lot simpler. Just going to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's undo that one. And then raise this up a bit. And then from here, I, I guess I'll do that a little. Seems pretty good to me. Okay, how are we lining this up? Like that, and then just a few more. That. And I'm running out of certain bricks, but I, I can make it work with the ones I have, I think. I hope. Uh, you know what I could do to really stabilize that is I could just add some of that. Okay, if I, I move them over correctly, That'll work great, so it's just over. There we go. So the only problem is it doesn't entirely match up perfectly. Why not? I guess because of this, huh? No, not because of that. Um, even then, well, what I could do, remove, no, 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 I can't, huh. I did sort of mess it up then, didn't I? Because obviously if I simulate it right now, it'll go up this no problem until it reaches here. It can't go up the, the, the straight up pieces, it needs a ramp. So we're gonna go back and make sure that everything, oh no, is lined up correctly. 
That's the most important thing first. So, I guess what we could do in the meantime is I still have seven more of these bricks. Let's add some more to it, because we're very close to getting this done. Go. That's not so bad. I think we'll leave it there for now, Um, because what I want to do is just this. That should be good. And then sort of the same deal. Let's make it all match up perfectly. And then how many? I have four of these. So that's one, two, and then hoping I can just do this, three and four. As far as I can tell, that matches up exactly how we need it to. Let's simulate it and find out. Ooh, it's going up, it's going up. We did it, hooray, awesome. So, oh wait, I didn't mean to simulate it again, but you know what, yeah, we get an action replay. That's so cool. So let's finish that one, and I guess go talk to them again, because we don't really need to walk across it. Get the diggers on the other side now, so. They should be happy with all of our equipment being where it's supposed to be. All right, where are you? You're right over where you were before. Uh, incredible job, we can finally get our team back to work. Tell the merchant that his catchy is being built. Will do. Okay, then that might actually finish our adventure here. Yeah, look at this, beautiful statue. Nice, I'm so happy that the monument is finished now. Yes, all thanks to you two. I'm glad we could help. And that's going to make, here it comes, the happiness crystal. Very cool. So I guess we'll grab that, we can talk to you too as well. We all did a fine job. I'm so happy that we were able to finish building that cow monument. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our happiness crystal. We got the power, and another one. So I guess we're heading home for now. We'll be returning to the desert some point in the future, but for right now, we're back home. I can't wait to perform another large scale transformation. I'm sure your grandpa is already waiting for us at the next area. Hello, I'm over here. All right then, so let's talk to Gramps again, right over this way. Hi Grandpa, let's power that transformation device. How do I do that? Um, Yeah, this thing, there you go. Uh, let's power it with the energy you gathered from the desert. Whoa, so this be the roller coaster? It looks like it, sort of. Whoa, that's so cool. It worked again. How about you design all the parts for this attraction now? All right then, so it looks like we need to design this, so do I interact with you to do that? We need to gather more energy. I guess I just head up here to put it together. No? Where, where do I go to actually put it together? I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, right over here. Uh, build the first roller coaster ride. Well, since this episode's gone on for a while, I don't want to go too crazy with this, but I guess, yeah, we could. Oh, this seems like it could be so cool, though. Um, let's make a blue one. Hmm. Let's get rid of that for now so I can put this in. And then put this in? Ooh, okay, okay. Um. But I feel like there should be yeah, more. Hmm. Oh, I see. What I'm supposed to do here, I think. Put the spoiler on the back like that. Put this here. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Obviously I can't, oh, that only unfortunate thing about that is that it pokes out a little bit too much. So I could maybe turn it around like this. And that doesn't look so bad, right? Ah, uh, I can't. Okay, so it's a little picky with some things that you can't do there, but maybe we could just add some red. You know, add a bit of color with the red. And then, where could I put these? I feel like I don't get enough room to actually do anything cool with most of this, unfortunately. Um, might be able to sneak in a couple of lights here and there. There you go. Put these translucent pieces. That looks good. And then on the back there, I might be able to... There we go. Okay, I got that there. We'll get these orange lights like that, and then the blue over top. Cool, I actually like that overall, that looks pretty fun. I don't think we wanna do that, we need to get this chair in first, make sure that fits, and then we can maybe mess with some other stuff. So, what if I, 
did that. It's not the most crazy looking thing, but it, you know, it's some kind of cool roller coaster seat. There we go. We got that one built. Um, let's build the middle middle coaster now. We have a lot of the similar pieces. So how do I want to do this one? I think this time it will do something like that. Oh, is this how I was supposed to do it the whole time? I think so. So then I can fit them there. Yep, just like that. Um, well, let's do it as a red one this time, because we blue before. Then that fits there. Gotcha. And what do I want to do with the rest of this stuff? How do these pieces fit on? I guess they're supposed to go under somewhere. Not really gonna mess with it too much, I don't think. But on the back of this, I could maybe do something like that. Yeah, we don't get spoilers this time. I don't really see too much of a way to fit anything else onto it. So, you know, we'll keep this one nice and simple. Uh, well, I have to have at least five build elements, so never mind. Put that there. <laughs> now we're good. Uh, what about this next one? The final roller coaster one. Ooh, this one's neat. So I could do a combination of colors too, if I wanted to. So we could do like the blue chassis, the red front. No spoiler so far, but I could do something like that. Put that there, and then another one, oh no, on the other side. Got it, okay, so it's not too crazy, but it's a fun little design, right? I'll just keep it like that, because you know we've, we spent a lot of time building stuff in today's episode. There we go, there's our roller coasters. Great, where should we go next? Wow, a roller coaster, on to the next ride. They seem like they're having fun. Um, that's not what I meant. I was wondering where the portal would lead you lead you next. Just a moment, setting up new destination. So our third area to explore in the next episode is about to be unveiled right over this way. Ooh, is that a sword? A medieval sword. Ooh, so we might be going to a big castle with a dragon or something like that in the next episode. That'll be a ton of fun, but in today's episode, we had a lot of fun. We explored the desert. We 100% completed the story. There's still so much more to do in the desert. Find a bunch more chests, get more shop pieces unlocked, and save more animals. We'll be doing more of that, of course, in the next episode of LEGO Brick Tales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.